another video on the Nortex Mining YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about spoofers and how to report them to the helium deny list so that way they are not siphoning out any more HNT tokens than they have already. Uh, I know spoofing has been a big, big topic in the community over the past few months. Uh, but I haven't really seen any how-to videos on exactly how to do how to do this. So uh, right off the bat, a couple things you're gonna need is a GitHub account, free to create, takes less than two minutes. Create a GitHub account. Secondly, is your Gmail account to be able to log in to the DYETL. All right, so. Uh, I do right off the bat want to give a uh, thanks to Joe over at Network Bits who made this video uh, on how cheaters are caught and really gave me the tip on this RSSI SNR chart um, that we'll see shortly. But uh, I mean, this is a this is the perfect way to visualize the signals being sent by these spoofing farms and being able to detect these guys. So um, there's been a couple clusters pop up in Texas that I've been able to pinpoint. And uh, I mean, Joe really is to thank here because uh, I didn't know this query existed uh, or, or this, uh, you know, plotting existed in the DYETL. So Big thanks over to Joe. I'll have the link to this video in the description. It's definitely worth a watch. Um, but basically, this plot here is all over the place. It's, I mean, it definitely looks manipulated, right? I mean, there's no way you're going to be able to get this perfect uh, distribution of RSSI and SNR values in real life. This is This is very clearly manipulated, fraudulent. This is what a normal, legitimate hotspot kind of their distribution looks like. I mean, you've got all these kinds of different RSSI and SNR values. And typically when the RSSI goes down, the SNR will go down because it's a poor quality signal. And as things improve, you kind of see this, this you know, trend. And so let me show you now this spoofing farm that is south of san antonio and even look at this even today these guys are still uh making some hnt this guy's already made out with five hnt in 30 days but don't worry i'm gonna get him on the deny list very quickly hopefully the um people who approve uh or, or you know get people on this deny list can um you know, be able to, to verify this quickly. I mean, so look, I mean, there's there's a cluster of eight. They've all made out with about five HNT at this point, uh, four or five HNT, and they're only witnessing each other. Now, how do I know they're only witnessing each other? Um, they're, none of the other hotspots in the neighborhood, like look at this guy, for example. This guy's 20 meters up, and he's hitting things in San Antonio, Right? But none of these guys are being hit. This guy, I think, is a little bit, uh, you know, less convincing because he doesn't really have anybody else that he's witness. Oh, never mind. He does. Look, okay, so this guy's, I mean, they're able to communicate with other hotspots. But for some reason, these eight that are perfectly placed here in this sort of like M situation aren't. Doesn't make sense, right? So what I did is I ran them all through the RSSI SNR um, query, or I guess uh, like plot here. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to etl.dy.org, sign in with your Gmail account. It's going to, um, well, here, let me show you. Let me just copy that. It's gonna show. It's gonna show you this page, right? So you're gonna get all these different um, dashboards that you can see, and we've talked about this in previous videos before. But what you're gonna do here, all right? It's gonna make. Okay, so 
what we're going to do here is not look at any of these dashboards, although you can in your spare time. But you're going to type in here RSSI slash SNR chart. Um, there's a new one. I, I think this is the, the newest one. Um, so you're going to put the hotspot address in here. Max days back. You could pick 90. You could pick 30, whatever. Minimum days back, zero. And this is going to plot the RSSI and SNR values for this hotspot, right? So you can see here, this is very clearly not natural looking, right? I mean, it's just not realistic when it comes to the properties of RF. And so what I did was I ran all of these eight through them. Took screenshots, um, took a couple screenshots in Hotspotty as well. I mean, you can see here in their witnesses, um, they're all only witnessing each other. You see? I mean, this guy would be getting hit if these were actually there. This guy would be getting hit if these were actually there. But they're not. These guys are located somewhere in a room and it's fake it's fraudulent it, they're spoofing so um what i let's go through the yeah let's, so let's go okay so the helium deny list is meant for this right to put people on the deny list means that those hotspots can only issue challenges and that's really only for a few more days as challenges are going to the validators right so the deny list is really going to be the axe so if you're on the deny list, you're not going to be able to participate in proof of coverage because you've been caught cheating. So you go to the deny list, you scroll down, and you hit open an issue here. Then it's going to open up all the issues that are currently open and closed. You're going to hit new issue right here. All right, and then you're going to request an addition to the deny list. Again, this is if you found someone cheating in your area you hit get started and it creates a new one so let's go to the one that i've already filled out here you want a descriptive title you know what's going on you want to copy and paste in all the hotspot addresses in here you're going to put in your discord handle and then you're going to put in a reason okay the most important part here is to provide proof, provide evidence that these people are cheating. There's been other entries in the deny list to the effect of seems like they're spoofing or this guy's making too much in my area. Don't do that. That's not helpful for you or for the people who are going through these or for the network, right? I mean, it's a waste of time. And what we really need in here is evidence, proof. How do you know these are cheaters? All right. So I put a sample paragraph in the description also. But basically what I said is these guys are not providing legitimate coverage. They are um, only witnessing each other. The RSSI SNR values in their plots look manipulated, look spoofed. It doesn't look natural. Um, you know, other helpful screen captures like um, like we went through earlier, right? And showing these other two hotspots are not getting any sort of activity from these eight is also helpful. And that's pretty much all I could do from here. Now, if you want to take it one step further, if you have a mapper or if you have mapping data for that area and you can show that, hey, this area is mapped out and these guys don't exist there, those hotspots aren't physically located there because none of the data packets are getting to any of these hotspots, that's also helpful information to put in here. So that's how you... uh report spoofers you have to have proof all right don't just come in here and put like ah these guys are making too much money or or you know 
his antenna heights not accurately reported, right? I mean, you, you got to have proof that they're cheating. All right. So let's go ahead and submit this and I'll show you guys what this looks like. All right. So after you submit the images that you dragged and dropped into the box here get rendered. Just be careful where you put the cursor. So what I did is I typed the paragraph, hit enter a couple times, and then dragged and dropped these files in there. So you have the cluster, you have that they're only witnessing each other, you have nearby hotspots that are high up in the air that aren't seeing any sort of action whatsoever from these guys. Uh, and then I pasted in the RSSI SNR um, charts for each of these guys. And I mean, you can see, right, the natural looking curve of a legit hotspot is just kind of all over the place, right? Because that's the natural behavior of RF, right? This is almost manufactured, or it is manufactured, right? I mean, this is, they're, they've got all of these probably in a room somewhere. I don't know exactly how these guys do it, but I mean, this is, it's too, it's too perfect. It doesn't match up with what we know about how RF travels and, you know, it's just, it's unrealistic. It's too perfect. So these are the values that I was seeing. So if you're seeing plots similar to this, yeah, I mean, you've got, you've got a, a spoofing cluster on your hands. So uh, I suggest you report these guys to the deny list. I will keep you guys updated on what happens with this cluster and the other cluster that I found. So uh, stay tuned for more. If this video was helpful, definitely hit me with that subscribe. Hit me with the thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Before we conclude the video, actually, um, so the deny list is actually the the best way to be able to like actually block people from making any more HNT, right? I mean, to to stop cheaters. Before there was this suspots.com, and it's a community tool. You could report things here. Um, you know, with their behaviors and stuff, but nothing really happens. I mean, this is just for data. I mean, as it, as the note says, right, it's just for data purposes. And they're just kind of trying to track stuff and be able to root out spoofers easier. Um, there is some really cool activity going on in the GitHub, though. Um, there is a cluster tool that can kind of run clusters and see if they're actually part of the network and they're communicating with other I mean with the actual helium network or if they're spoofers so um let me know in the comments below if this is something that uh, you guys would like me to try and investigate and do another uh video on uh, I'm not really familiar with the coding that went into this I'm not really familiar with node red but uh if you guys think that you want to learn more about tools like these, uh, let me know in the comments below. All right, thanks.